Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and stat. Today we will discuss about how you can write the CDF of a random variable. So we discussed the two different methods. One is the journal method and second the shortcut way. Myself Dr. Agar working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute of India. So this is a lecture number 2 related to the series of the CDF that is how to can write the CDF here. So you can watch the various properties of the CDF in our last lecture. Now, what is the CDF that we discussed in the last lecture? I can quickly recall that what is the CDF is if you have defined a function capital F, which is defined like here. That is a at most x value is there. Make sure that whatever you have written here, it will be the same as that of this. For example, if I write this is my seven, so then it is nothing but my f of seven. And this is called as the distribution function. It is also called as the cumulative distribution function called as the CDF. Once it is a function, so it must have the domain and the range. So the domain is the whole the real line minus infinity to plus infinity. And its range is my close interval 0 comma 1. So based on the random variable, whether it's a discrete or continuous, we have the two kinds of the distribution function. That is a discrete and continuous which are defined like here clearly sees that from here the lower limit is my minus infinity so the whenever you want to see for the continuous random variable like of this so the upper limit is my x lower limit is my minus infinity where fx is my pdf and in this case you have to write this as in terms of pm now we will describe the two methods you can see how you can write the cdf of any of the any of the random variable the first method is by using the definition and then we will try to solve the each problem with the help of the second that is a shortcut way that is the previous value at the common point plus this is the rule behind this shortcut way so this rule is very helpful when you are preparing for the gate or when you are preparing for the csr net or any of the other competition exams so firstly we will describe how you can find the cdf for the discrete random variable so for example here so remember that our target is to only define the distribution function here not need to calculate the probabilities so what is given to you x is a random variable consists of the number of the heads in the single tossing the coin so when you single toss the coin the sample space is my head comma tail and the corresponding random variable of the head is my either 0 or 1 so what is the meaning of the 0 is probability when x is tail probability x is head so this is my corresponding to 1 this is my corresponding to 0 so, and all we know is that the probability is nothing but half then we can define the CDF by using here so this is the way of half so you can see my definition of the CDF is x which is less than of the x so it means the lower limit is my infinity so we can start from the infinity now this is my 0 this is my 1 so you can see how many intervals are there so this is my first interval this is my second this is my third so I can write like x less than 0 that is this portion 0 1 this and here so whenever x lies between minus infinity to 0 there is no value of the x which satisfy between them so the answer is my 0 whenever x lies between 0 to 1 so this is equality is 0 so what is the answer of this is my half so you can write this as so remember CDF is nothing but my cumulative so how you can find the cumulative is this plus this so this plus this is 1 I can write like here is the answer so this is the required answer of this uh, CDF similarly if you uh, represent for the second question again represent the number of the heads and they're tossing the two coins so then you can see the number of the heads are either 2 either 1 or 0 and the corresponding probabilities you can define like here now again in this case it is my 0 1 and 2 so what is how many intervals are there 1 2 3 and 4 so there are the four intervals which can define like here first value is always be 0 last value always be 1 so I can take this value as this then this value as my 2 by 4 and 3 by 4 and then it's a 1 by 4 by 4 is nothing but the 1 is the required answer look at the another are there so here you have to find the value of k and then you have to find the value of cumulative distribution so how you can find the value of k so since it is a pmf so we all know that sum of the probability is 1 so you can find the value of k easily once you can substitute the value of k in here you will get this one now you can see how many intervals are there it is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 
so this is my first interval second third fourth fifth as well as sixth and last one is seven so we can write here so first value is zero last value is always be one the first value is corresponding to the equality minus of two it is one by ten so you can write here as fx the first value is one by ten and then you can uh, one by fifteen plus one by ten here then this plus this here and so on you will get this as the required cd so in case of the discrete random variable this is a very simple r there but the question arises is how you can solve for the continuous so look at that so again so firstly you can see this is my domain so in this case the function is my given as kx of 1 minus x and outside that the function is my zero so how many intervals they have so you can see this is the first interval whenever x less than 0 then x lies between here and greater than so equality is up is a right continuous so first value is always be 0 last value is always be 1 so there is need of only finding here so we have to this so now first method is we will apply by the definition of the cdf second method we will see by the shortcut so first case is whenever x less than 0 that is in this case so that is x lies here so you can integrate from minus infinity to x what is the value of the fx in this case is a zero so whenever you have to zero is zero second case whenever x lies in between them so you have to integrate this value from minus infinity to zero and zero to x minus infinity to zero and then zero to x are there so what is the value of the fx from minus infinity to zero is a zero and here is kx of 1 minus x so you can see this value is zero and once you will integrate this that is the required answer of here similarly for the third case whenever x is greater than 1 corresponding to here so it lies in this case so i can find the cdf of minus infinity to 1 plus 1 to x so what is the value of fx here and fx of this so you can see if you correlate this component if you correlate this component with here that means x is nothing but my 1 you can see so i can substitute directly value here x is 1 plus what is the value of the fx when x lies greater than 1 so you can see it's a 0 so the answer is my k by 6 so this is my k by 6 now this is the this is the required cdf now how you can find the value of k we all know that the last value must be 1 for the cdf k by 6 is 1 so you can find the value of k this is the first method now what is the shortcut way is you firstly write the number of the intervals first value is always be 0 okay now we apply this rule so remember the first value is always be 0 you can write like here now whenever x lies between 0 to 1 so how you can find this value so you can see what is a common point in these two interval so common point is 0 so you can substitute the value of 0 in here so in this case there is no x for example if it is say x square plus 1 then the common point is x 0 you can substitute x is 0 the answer is my 1 so this value is my 1 in this case but right now it is my 0 since it is a constant value so i can write this value for this is 0 plus lower limit so you can see the interval of this what is the lower limit is 0 to x and f of x is whenever x lies between 0 to 1 the function is my kx of 1 minus x now once you will integrate them you will get the right answer here similarly for the third case when x is greater than equal to 1 so what is the common point in this case is 1 you can substitute the value of the 1 in this case so what is that this is when you substitute here this is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 it's k by 6 plus lower limit is my 1 2x f of x is my 0 because it lies here so what is the answer is k by 6 look at the another example so in this case we will try to find only these two portions here is the how to calculate the probability that we will see in our next lecture because right now the motive of this lecture is only to how to write this cdm again we will try the two different ways so firstly you have to define this on here how many intervals 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have to define here the first value is always be 0 now we can define the first method 
the first value is always be 0 now what is that when x lies between 0 to 1 so it means your x lies in here so I can integrate this from minus infinity to 0 and then 0 to x so what is the answer of minus infinity to 0 you can see it lies here this is 0 whenever x lies between 0 to 1 the value is my ax so what is the integration of this you can see the integration of this is ax square by 2 so once you integrate them you will get the ax square by 2 now third case is when x lies between 1 and 2 you can see it like here so what is that in this case from minus infinity to 1 and then 1 to x are there so whenever from minus infinity to 1 you can you can see minus infinity i can simply take x as a 1 here so whatever is there this is nothing but there is no need to integrate again and again you use the previous value whenever x lies between 1 to 2 the value is my a so you can integrate them what is that this is a times x minus 1 so you can integrate them you will get this answer here next case is whenever x lies between 2 to 3 that is lies in here so you can integrate from this firstly from minus infinity to 2 and then from 2 to x so whenever x lies between 2 to 3 the value is my minus ax plus 3a and this case you can see in the minus infinity to 1 1 to x that means it is minus infinity to x so here x is my 2 so i can substitute here the value as a 2 so it's a 2a minus a by 2 plus the integration of this you can see minus 2a plus a by this is the previous value and integration of this is similarly for the last case here we can integrate from minus infinity to 3 3 to x is the right answer is here how you find the second part that is a, a we all know that the last answer is always be 1 in case of cdf so a is my half is the right answer now we will do the shortcut way answer so remember that the first value is always be 0 in the second case what is the common point in between them that is a 0 so this is 0 plus what is the lower limit is 0 to x what is the f of x when x lies between 0 to 1 is ax so what is the answer of this you can write it directly as ax square by 2 in this case what is the common point is there is a 1 so you can substitute the previous value at the common point plus lower limit is my 1 2 x this is 1 2 x whenever x lies between 1 2 here the answer is my a so what is the answer of this you can integrate them you will get this as answer next case is what is the common portion is my 2 so you can substitute the value of 2 here and then integrate from 2 to x r so now once you integrate them you will get this answer similarly for the last part the common portion is my 3 previous value you can substitute the value of 3 here so it will be my minus 5a by 2 minus 9a by 2 plus 9a so it is my minus 14 minus 7a plus 9a so the answer is my 2a 2a plus the next value is my 0 so this is the right answer now how you find this value this you can simply use them as 1 now you can quickly do the shortcut we are there so how many intervals are there this is 0 2 4 so how many cdfs are there this is a 1 2 3 and 4 so you can write like this 4 first value is 0 how you can do that common point is 0 lower limit is 0 to x 0 to 2 is my ax so what is the answer of this this is nothing but ax square by 2 common point is my 2 if you substitute this value to 4 by 2 is my 2a plus limit is 2 to x this is my 4 minus x a is constant which is outside so what is the answer of this is a is outside this is 4 minus x whole square upon minus of 2 from this so what is that 2a minus a by 2 is outside so this is 4 minus x square minus 4 is here so that is the answer of this problem so i can see I take the negative as a common then it's a plus it's a minus and it's a plus so you can write here and since the last portion so you can simply take x4 as this so this part is 0 uh, this value is 4 so this is 2a 2a plus 2a is nothing but my 4a is the right answer so what is the value of the a you all know that 4a is nothing but my 1 so the a is my 
1 by 4. Again, uh, this third part segment we will discuss in the next class, next lecture when we discuss about how you compute the probabilities. Now again you can see find the distribution function, so the interval is my 1 to 4. How many intervals are there? This is a 1, 2 and 3. So x less than 1, x lies between 1 and 4 and x is greater than 4. So how you can do that? You can see the first value is always 0, then 0 plus lower limit is 1 to x from this case the function is my k times 1 plus x so what is the integration of this k is constant 1 plus x square upon 2 that is from 1 to x so this is 1 plus x square plus 2x upon 2 minus 1 plus 1 2 and here if you scale LCM them you will get this as the right answer and similarly for this last case you can see 4 as a common if you substitute 4 here so it will be 4 plus 4 by 2 minus 3 by 2. So you can see this is my 1 by 2 and so on. Sorry, it's a 16 by 2. So you can see it's a k 4 plus 13 by 2. So it's a 8 21 by 2 k. Now if you, somebody asks you find the value of k, so what is the k is there? So you all know that this value must be 1. So k will be my 2 upon 21. Again, in this case, you can see it's from 0 to 9. So there are the three intervals. So first interval is my here and so on. The first value is always be 0. For the second case, 0 plus lower limit is 0 to x, k upon root x. So how you can solve that? This is k is outside. This is minus half plus 1. Minus half plus 1 is there, 0 to x. So what is that? This is 2k of root x is there. And in this case, last case is the, since the 9 is the common value, you can put directly as a 9. So 9 is 3, 3 to the 6k. How you find the value of the k? So they, again, there are the two methods. One is by using the CDF. We all know 6k is 1, so k is 1 by 6. Or else, if you want to use the PDF, then you have to use them over the domain is my 1. And after the integration, you will get the same answer. Look at one more example. Now in this case you have to see x is less than 0, x less than of 2 and is greater than 2. This is my CDF. So there are the three cases. First value is always be 0, last value is always be 1. So this value is my 0, common point is 0, from 0 to x of 3x square by 8. So what is that? 3 by 8 is common. So x cube upon 3 from 0 to x. So 3 will be cancelled out. So it's a x cube upon 8 and the last case is always be 1 you can check that whenever 2 it's 8 by 2 is 1 so this is the required CDM look at the last case how you can find the value of k and this, look at that there is no need to find the CDM but how you find the value of k instead of the integration of this side we can easily do that by using the CDM so there are the three cases again this is first value is always be 0 so this value is 0 plus 0 to x k times x square 1 minus x cube so k will be common so it will be x square so it's x cube by 3 it's a x5 is a x6 by 6 over 0 to x so 0 to x means that's the same value so you can write here and for the last case you can see one is a if you substitute here 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6 is here how you find k so this is my and if you want to find this, we will see in the next class, but we can find this since it is a continuous random variable. So we all know that for the continuous random variable equality doesn't matter. So what is that? This is f of 3. So 0 0.3 lies in here. So you can substitute value directly as in this case is the required answer. Or otherwise, you can integrate from 0 to 3 k times x square 1 minus x cube. That will also give you the same answer. So this is the way you can write this continuous random uh, CDF of the va uh, variable in a very simple manner. In the next class we will try to describe how you can find the probability which are lies in this, how you can find the probability which is greater than of this and less than of this and so on by using the CDF and PDF by the two different methods. Till then you can simply like, share and comment on this video. Best of luck students. Happy learning.